I don't think you know about half the things I did in that time of my life. Oh no, I, no, I don't even want to guess. Okay, so I have been here in Wagga Wagga spending some time with my dad. If there's anything I can thank this pandemic for, it is it is that I've had forced time in Australia and time with my family, which has been beautiful. And I was cleaning out my dad's pantry, which is this right here. This was my nan's house, by the way. And when I was going through it to organize because there was food in there from 1967, I found something that brought me an unbelievable amount of nostalgia. And it was my nan's. These are the hundreds and thousands that she would use. Uh, that's what Aussies call them. And I just, I remember being a kid and sitting, what up dad? Sitting right here at the end of this bench. Hi Kleenex and the new setup. <laughs> How are we gonna film this? It's been four years since my nan passed and she gave me her chocolate slice recipe before she passed. And that was one of my favorite things that she would ever make. It's so yummy. Um, and I have not been able to bring myself to make it. And I felt like now is the time. This is my nan. That's also me with black hair. But that's my beautiful nan. Her name was Gwen May. My name is Shana May. 45 years. 45 years this house has been here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm responsible for this one. This, red, this blonde red-headed one. <laughs> blonde red-headed one. She's only red right now. Yeah, right? she's red now. Um, I finally accepted. I've given in. You've given in? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it, Nanny. We love you. This one's for you. This camera's recording. Oh, oh, this right. one's on. Okay. Okay. We need one cup of self-raising flour. All right. Self-raising. We've got the cocoa. Oh. We need three wheat bix. A quarter of a pound of butter. A quarter of a pound? Mm. We need the brown sugar, we have the desiccated coconut, and the vanilla essence. All things take a hundred years with parents. The actual tray! Okay. Alright, so I need to put everything except the butter in a bowl and mix it together. So, crush up these wheat bix. Wheat Bix are an Aussie thing and they're, they're a breakfast thing and they're so yummy. I'm, I'm like, it's hard to find them in the States. Self-raising flour. Nanny used to have flour everywhere. Oh, she, yeah, she did. She'd make a mess. Much like me when I cook. All right, you wanna measure that out for me? And then you gotta melt it. What was Nanny like as a mum when you were a kid? Always there. No matter what you needed, always there. When you were growing up and you were a kid, what was the thing that you did that was the absolute worst? The worst I did was when I was a kid and I didn't come home from school. And I got a walloping. Something tells me that you're not really sharing the worst thing that you ever did. Berjo, I know that you got in trouble and mischief. Just because these guys are watching it doesn't mean that you have no. to pretend you're a straight one. I can't give anyway. away all my secrets. Yeah, you have to at this point. That's <laughs> only people reason people are watching. I can't remember. I, I must, Lies. I'm, I'm gonna blame it on my age. Yeah, yeah. bullshit. <laughs> Throw it in there. It would smell like nans. It's looking good in my mouth's watering, I'm telling you. <laughs> What's the worst thing I ever did that you know of? Oh, probably when you were off the dance floor with your busted knees. Oh, that well, was a terror. Oh. I don't think you know about half the things I did in that time of my life. Oh no, I, no, I don't even want to guess. Oh, you, you were terrible on a phone, which is she's still bloody worse on the phone now. Because everything's on a phone. You need to oh, adapt. God. You can't keep hating on the phone. I'm sorry. No, I only hated the bill because <laughs> I had to pay the bill. I was a very social thing and I was talking to everybody and uh, I ran up $800. When, when she discovered boys, that was the problem. <laughs> They discovered me. When you were dancing, you were totally immersed in your dancing. Right. Devoted. Sure. But when you busted your knee, you lost faith in yourself. And, and I can understand that. It was a very miserable time when you were off the dance floor. So during that two years, almost two years, she was a terror, a bloody terror. She was lost. But she was lost and she was battling. And they were tough times for the three of us, her mother and I, and. China, there was a really lot of shit going on. There was a lot of things going on that were tough. There had already been a lot of shit going on, and it was just for you guys. Mm. And then, you know, teenage years didn't help. My knee mm. didn't help. Um, 
and I was, I was a terror for two years. I didn't want to be at home. I didn't want to see everything that was going on. And one day I will, you know, talk more about what that was, but it was a lot and it was awful and it was yucky and it was, it was dark and it was angry. And so I, yeah, I did a lot of things. Well, my, my hours of work were long. Um, I probably wasn't the easiest to get on with. And I was upset with different things that weren't going right. And, um, Shana was off the dance floor. We were all missing the dancing, especially Shana and I, I suppose, because we were at it seven days a week. Our life was chock a block full of dancing and none of us knew what life was without dancing until Shana doing, did a knee in over in Germany. No, we didn't. So, and it hurt us all. My nan had photos of me everywhere in this house. Yeah, um, still are. There's still photos of me in this house. Okay. Now let's see that you can get this in there like Nanny. I've got to watch your... I yeah. don't know if I can! Yeah, just push it all around, fill the tray right up, knead it into the corners with your knuckles. This is a workout. <laughs> My forearm is burning. Okay, so what, what have you got to have your oven on? Oh. Should have had that pre heating. <laughs> 160. Hey, let me check what she said. Nanny, I'm sorry, I hope we're doing you justice. There was nothing. Bake in a medium heat oven for 15 minutes. What would we call a medium heat oven? At 160. Let's so, make the icing. So how do I make icing? Butter, icing sugar. Icing sugar? Is that Nan's writing or yours? Looks like Nanny's writing that That's one. Nanny's writing. And now? No, another half a cup. No. Better to have too much than not enough. How much butter? Tablespoon? So we're gonna do all of this. I mean, who doesn't love butter? But you know. Oh, you gotta put some cocoa in there. four of them. Oh, well, I've got to put some water in it. Put warm water in it. Just put a bit, little bit in at a time and mix it until you get the consistency you want. Okay, you put that in the oven. Take a little bit. That's perfect. It tastes like Nan's. Mm. Stop eating it, Shana. You'll be complaining about the pounds. I'm already complaining about the pounds. Hashtag quarantine. I just don't understand why I'm gaining weight. All right, Virgo, we're gonna okay. do questions. Come over here questions. next to me. How can I help you? These are questions from fans that they have asked for me to ask my mum and my dad. What is Shana's weakness? Don't really. Broken men. I think, yeah, Shana's weakness was, <laughs> her boyfriends were always bad boys she thought she could change. So I'm hoping she chooses more wisely. Mm. I'm sure she will. I've been trying to make better choices in my adult life. And um, that has led me to being single for five years. Moving on. So uh, how did Shana get into dance? My mum and my, uh, some of my other nephews and nieces used to dance as in ballroom dancing. So we took her, we took her just so the, uh, she had the interest to have a look and see whether she liked ballroom and she fell in love with it. And she's been a ballroom girl ever since. Who was your favourite partner of Shana's? On Dancing with the Stars? James, I think. James Hinchcliffe. Which Noah, really you loved Noah. Noah, I loved, yes. Nick. Nick, how do you like? But James was your favourite. James, James and Noah. My, James is my favourite. Okay. Yeah, James and Noah. Someone has asked a question of how was Shana conceived? Um, I, I feel like it's uh, it's really not a story that I want to hear. So um, we're going to skip over that one. We'll skip, yeah, we'll skip over well, that uh, one. Just normal. <laughs> yeah, no, we're good. As far as I'm concerned, I was delivered by a stork. Yeah. <laughs> um, In actual fact, she was a surprise because it happened quicker than we thought it would. It was planned, but it was quicker than, much quicker than we thought it would be possible. Yes. I was not planned. Mm. What's your favourite dance Shana has ever performed? Viennese Waltz. Any one of them in particular? Oh yeah, you said it the other day, the one with Niall DeMarco. Yeah. Uh, that was an amazing, amazing v and yeah. How was Shana like growing up? What phases did she go through? Oh. Everything from angel to devil and everything in between. Yeah, we, we, I don't think we have time to fill in the gaps. That's a whole other video. Still a problem. <laughs> Do you prefer Shana's natural hair color or her gorgeous red hair? Uh, I prefer a natural color, but I'm pulling Pretty much for a red hair, I accept it and it just looks normal to me now. So many of these questions are, was Shana a wild child when she was younger? How wild was Shana as a teenager? It's like, no. y'all know me already. I was a wild teenager. 
and I was the complete opposite as a kid. Like when we lived in Wagga and I was a kid, I was this sweet little angel. When you got to Sydney though, you found you, you got in your stride <laughs> and then you were impossible to hold. Who is the boyfriend you disliked the most and the one that you liked the most? Ooh, that is the timer. You answer that question for these people right here. I don't know. The last I'd say one. what Did you I hate the last one the most? Yes, it was really bad. When the breakup happened and the way he treated you. Oh, you didn't oh. like Dom either. Dom oh, was Dom like... Oh, Dom, I this, this, this lot. But, but that was because Dom, of your age. I was young. He was my first boyfriend. He was my first love. But if I and had... I will never forget. Okay. And Dom came around to the house to visit and he was outside in his car. And I told Dad that I was going downstairs to get some CDs from his truck. Mm. And I was down there for like 30 minutes. So when he came down looking for me, I was in Dom's car. Hiding on the floor on the Because I saw side. him go down and so I was hiding. I was 15. Mm. 15. No, not quite. No. I wasn't still... quite 15. Yeah. I wasn't doing anything Any, explicit. Any. I was just in there no, hanging yeah, out. No, with but him. she knew she was wrong because she was hiding on the floor on the passenger side. I... <laughs> and then Dom shrunk right down the seat till his head was nearly below the window. When Tell I... them what you said to him. Oh, I'm not going to repeat it. He <laughs> said, You come near my daughter again, I'm going to shoot you with a shotgun or something like that. And I was like, ah, He's never going to talk to me again. I'm surprised Sash hasn't come up in any of this. You love Sasha. Oh, so, oh I forgot about it. So, no, there's me choice. Yeah. <laughs> Dad loves yeah, Sasha. I do love Sasha. Yeah. We were never ever meant to be together, like for forever. He is absolutely meant to be with Ems, but yeah. we were young and uh, we dated for a little minute there, but he's just such a good human, as you guys know. Yeah, well, yeah, I love him and Emma. I think they're, oh, they perfect, perfect, they're perfect. Oh, who was your least favorite partner of mine on Dancing with the Stars? Oh, on Dancing with the Stars? You can say it. Yeah, Bonner. He's my least favourite. Not everyone knows all the man. truth about that too. Yeah. How often did Shana get sent to her room when she was a kid? Oh, uh, often enough. <laughs> Pretty often. Yeah, you couldn't keep her home. All right, on that happy note, she, let's, uh, no, let's no, ice no. The, the situation. It's pretty epic to be in Nan's kitchen. I have not been able to bring myself to make it until this point. So I think it's really special that I get to do this with my dad and with the actual ingredients that Nan would use. Hopefully they're not too expired. <laughs> we got it out. It's nice and cooled. I've got the icing. Got the dad. Yep. Sharpening the top. Here. What's that for? No, that's to cut the, actually to cut it. Hold this mm -hmm. over this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Hang on. And you just want to keep. There you go. Dad's holding the camera. This is exciting stuff. Doing well. Yeah, you can lift that. <laughs> It'll be good for your diet. All the workout, the good work from my workouts, buddy. Yeah. Up down in one spoon. It's just so good. I'm gonna go along your edges, eh? Oh my god, it's nanny slide. <laughs> looks like it too, doesn't it, eh? It does. It looks like it. You heard it go through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it. You I heard, heard it. Set right. Don't go slide. Cheers. Cheers to Nanny. Cheers Nanny. No, you gotta, what are you doing? Stop! God, I'm trying to get you to like clink it like a glass. Oh, okay. All right. Cheers to Nanny. Cheers to Nanny. <laughs> May you rest in peace, dear. Mm. 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 That's Nanny. That's Nanny.